Um, I think I'll start it off. Um, I thought it looked good. Um, it was a it was a first scrimmage, as you can expect. There were some mess ups. There was some a lot of guys flying around. Um, the belt um, on that standpoint, I think. Um, defense got it so the defense we had three turnovers which that's a trump or that uh, that trumps everything um so when we had those turnovers you know chiefs can get all real happy about it but it was a, it was a first scrimmage it's exactly what you expect guys that uh, energy was really high and that's what coach morse wanted first scrimmage uh, it was a pretty good day i feel like we came out the first part we were a little too energized we had to settle down and you know hone in what we were doing but for as a as a day i felt like we got better as a whole defense offense everything and we got the turnover belt for the third day in a row, so we did pretty good. On the turnovers, we weren't able to watch, but 15 minutes or so in the scrimmage, but uh, you guys recall who, who recovered and maybe who forced those turnovers? Oh, um, Greg, uh, Greg, Greg Brooks. Brooks he had a he had a turnover. Uh, Didi recovered a fumble. Didi recovered a fumble. Didi Edwards. Didi Edwards. Um, who was that? One? Uh, I, I honestly, I couldn't tell you. We were all jumping was, up, going crazy. So, stuff going on. Yeah, it's yes, sir. Yeah, uh, no, there was there was, was a, one. Yeah, there was, was one. One, one, one of the ones. ones. Can't remember exactly who it was. There was one with the ones. Greg, I guess the uh, chief was talking about the slow start, but the two big runs early. Just kind of how'd y'all regroup after that? Uh, we came together. Chief brought us up. Um, we definitely we were needing people to step up, and we definitely I like, had those guys step up. We had ex like some. Uh, some DNs step up. They 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 kind of came in there and said, "All right, listen, this is going to be this is going to be the time right here." We had some linebackers go, "All right, we got to get a turnover." So that that next little series after that, we we really stepped it up on defense and we flipped that momentum completely. Because if you would have seen just the first couple of series of the offense and defense, then you would have said offense would have won the day. But after that, it was just a big flip around, and we really brought the momentum and brought the juice with it. Great was Scooter being out in the spring. How do you embrace that, especially you and Palmer, just in terms of the reps? Yeah, um, with Scooter being out, it's just it gives a lot of people more reps. Um, I was actually going to be uh, just like cross training doing Mike and Will, but um, so with Scooter out, I was going in. I'm, now I'm just going straight Mike, and uh, it's really just made us all focus on just being able to be our best at our craft. And we uh, we kind of joke about it. We have two uh, linebacker coaches now with Coach Chavis and Scooter. So uh, we kind of joke and say Scooter's the Mikes and Chavis Ch Ch is the Will. But you now it's it's been really good together. It's been able to be able to get more guys in there, get more guys game reps uh, like these scrimmages. And it's just we've all fed off of that and just fed off of Scooter even being off and being a leader off the field. I want to ask Mario about the ends, just what you've seen, the, the front all together and also specifically the ends. Uh, just as the front is in the whole, I feel like we had a, like you said, we settled down after the first two big runs Grant talked about. We settled down and everybody, you know, pretty much stayed in their gaps, they stayed in their assignments. We still got a lot of work to do, like it's a, it's a marathon, not a sprint. But just as far as the room, the DM room, I feel like we're coming along very well. Like I said, it's still a lot of little stuff we still need to do. It's a lot of little stuff technique-wise, especially with me that I need to work on. But we're getting a lot better. But I feel like we're a lot better than we were last year at this time. So we're progressing on. Also, we saw Gregory um, with the second unit. It looked like he had a couple sacks in the early part. What have you made of his work so far? Uh, Greg, man, Gregory, okay. Greg, he's a really talented freshman. Like, he's got the body. He's just got to fit into it. He's just like a big Labrador puppy, you know. He's got all the tools. He's just had, He's just not fitting in yet, you know. And he's a good guy, though, good kid. He's, you know, always ready to learn. Him and uh, Matayo, too. Man, Matayo, man, I really yeah. like him. He's going to be a really great player here one day. Like, But Greg, he's a real good player, real good player. Yeah, just from the live work, what have you guys seen from Deb Watt and Chase Hayden so far? Man, uh, they're 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 bringing it this year. They're really stepped up, even with uh, just all the running backs being so slim. They they've led that group really well. Um, you can't you can't tell like that Felix Jones, D Mac, you know all that. I don't I, I didn't watch it in the spring games like how we are in right now. But they're bringing something like that. They're bringing they're trying to bring the juice with them, and they're trying to just be able to go and try to get back and forth. And they're trying to be the best ones, and it's just making both of them even better too. And very competitive in everyone. You can just see it every day to fight in those two, you know. They're always grinding and running their feet after plays. They're always finishing through in those two. They're really working hard. Anything else? Okay. Thank you.
Appreciate y'all. Yep.